how mental health impacts your physical health. In this concern talk, we're gonna learn about the relationship between mental and physical health. We're gonna look at some of the illnesses that are impacted by mental health issues. And we're gonna look at ways to improve mental and physical health. What do we know about the interrelation between physical and mental health? The mind and the body are considered separate entities. When we think of staying healthy, we usually think of going to the gym and getting in shape. However, mental health and physical health are more connected than you might think. Mental health has a direct impact on physical health and vice versa. Some of the things that we need to know is that mental health and physical health are fundamentally linked. People living with a serious mental illness are at higher risk of experiencing a wide range of chronic physical conditions. Conversely, people living with chronic physical health conditions experience depression and anxiety at twice the rate of the general population. So let's look a little more at some of the illnesses that are impacted by mental health issues. Headaches. Stress is considered one of the most common triggers for headaches. Not just tension headaches, but migraines as well. fatigue and insomnia. Untreated depression can wipe out your level of energy during the day and daytime fatigue can occur, which can be connected to insomnia. And speaking of insomnia, depression can keep you up at night because you are unable to quiet your mind. You could be ruminating over everything that has happened that day, and that can also lead to insomnia. Gastrointestinal problems. So one thing we need to know about stress is that it doesn't cause ulcers. However, it can make them worse. Stress is also a common factor in many other GI conditions, such as chronic heartburn or GERD and even irritable bowel syndrome. A weakened immune system, depression and stress may have a negative impact on the immune system, making you more vulnerable to infections and diseases. One review looked at studies and found that there seemed to be a relationship between inflammation and depression, although the exact connection was unclear. Inflammation is linked to many illnesses, and anti-inflammatory agents have been shown to benefit some people that have depression. So all of this interconnectedness with the immune system can be impacted by our mental health. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune condition commonly triggered by stress. The condition can lead to anxiety and increased stress, which in turn makes the psoriasis flare up, leading to more stress, a vicious, relentless cycle between the mind and the body. 
However, understanding the link between mental health and physical health is paving, paving the way for a more positive change and outcome for patients with psoriasis. They found that when they start treatment for depression or anxiety, they often discover that their psoriasis symptoms begin to clear up. And the inverse is also that successful treatment of psoriasis is associated with reduced depressive symptoms. Diabetes. Stress can worsen diabetes in two ways. First, it increases the likelihood of bad behaviors such as unhealthy eating and excessive drinking. And second, stress seems to raise the glucose levels of people with type 2 diabetes. Heart disease. Depression and stress are closely related. These stress hormones speed the heart rate and make blood vessels tighten, putting your body in a prolonged state of emergency. Over time, this can lead to heart disease. Reoccurrence of cardiovascular problems is linked more closely to depression than people realize even more closely than things like smoking, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Untreated depression raises the risk of dying after a heart attack. Heart disease is also a trigger for depression. The Cleveland Clinic estimates that about 15% of people with heart disease also develop major depression. Stress can directly increase heart rate and blood flow and causes the release of cholesterol and triglycerides into the bloodstream. It's also possible that stress is related to other problems and increased likelihood of things like smoking and obesity that indirectly increase those heart risks as well. Life expectancy. One of the clearest places that the link between mental and physical health is illustrated is in longevity. Many studies have found that those with mental health challenges, such as schizophrenia and even depression, tend to live shorter lives when compared to those who do not have these conditions. In fact, the Mental Health Foundation reported that schizophrenia is associated with a triple risk of dying from a respiratory disease and a double risk of dying from a form of heart disease. Depression has been linked to a 50% increase in a person's risk of dying from cancer and a 67% increase from heart disease. These conditions have a significant impact on life expectancies. Researchers hypothesize that one reason for the increase in respiratory disease and heart disease and cancer risk is that individuals with mental health conditions are sometimes less likely to seek care for their physical health. The Mental Health Foundation reported that those who take part in mental health services are statistically less likely to receive many routine checks. Unhealthy habits, including smoking, drug use, and lack of exercise can also play a role. However, there are other ways that mental health can affect longevity. And so a person who addresses their mental health issues are more likely to have a longer life because if they address their mental health, their physical health is more likely to not be neglected. But there are ways to improve our mental and our physical health. And exercise is one of those ways. Often considered just a physical activity, regular exercise 
has been proven to increase the release of those feel-good chemicals known as endorphins in the brain. The release of endorphins increases mental alertness, energy, and leads to mood enhancement. Exercise improves mental health by reducing the levels of depression and anxiety. While exercise should take place on a regular basis, it doesn't need to be overly intense. Even a short, brisk 10-minute walk can have a positive impact on your mental and physical well-being. So what does that lead to? A healthy diet. In order to maintain a healthy mind and body, proper nutrition is essential. Chances of increased levels of anxiety and depression are multiplied in people with a poor diet. In order to avoid mental and physical consequences of poor nutrition, try to incorporate healthy proteins, fruits, vegetables, grains, vitamins, minerals, and plenty of water into your diet. Avoid food made with added sugars or flours, processed meats, and butter. When it comes to our diet, quality is much more important than quantity. Proper sleep. We cannot underestimate the importance of getting enough sleep. Poor sleep habits can be directly linked to stress, anxiety, and depression. The National Sleep Foundation recommends that adults should get an average of seven to nine hours of sleep every night. If you're having trouble getting enough sleep at night, try a relaxation routine before you go to bed, having a schedule for your bedtime, decreasing your caffeine intake, and try to decrease your screen time before bed, whether it's phone, tablet, TV, having a little shutdown time where you cut those things off may benefit you to help you improve your sleep. And lastly, get help. When a person is experiencing emotional or mental distress, meeting with a counselor is often helpful. Don't wait, you know, to get the help. Don't allow your mental health issues to go undiagnosed and unaddressed. It will only get worse before it gets better. And you do not want it to get to the point where it is also impacting your physical health. While changing diet and exercising can help some improve their mental health, others may need something more like medication and counseling to get the results that they need. So if that's you and Concerned EAP is your provider, please use this much needed resource. It is free. It is confidential and it is available to anyone who lives in your household. If you have any questions related to concern, the services we provide, or anything else, please feel free to email us at concern at bmhcc.org or you can check us out on our website, www.myconcerneap.com. Know that no issue is too big or too small. Our services are always confidential and they are always free for you and anyone who lives in your household. So please give us a call. There is no need to struggle and there is no need to put not only your mental health, but your physical health at risk when you have this great resource available to you and anyone that lives in your household. So please take advantage of it. Our number is 901-458-4000 or 1-800-445-5011.
thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of Concern Talk, examining how your mental health impacts your physical health.